only in Canada tonight, an archaeological treasure trove. Thousands of Aboriginal relics were put on display in Manitoba today, found during the construction of a new museum. They were unearthed in the heart of downtown Winnipeg, at the Forks, where two rivers meet, as well as generations of people. The CBC's Cameron McIntosh reports. We're looking at a microcosm, the tools. Some are nearly a thousand years old. Aboriginal artifacts, scientific support for ancient stories. It had three different styles of arrowheads, from the west, from the north, and from the south, all on the same level. At the confluence of the Red and Assiniboine Rivers, the Forks is at the center of modern-day Winnipeg. For thousands of years, it was also a meeting place for Aboriginal people. The style of those tools, usually found in the U.S. and Western Canada, is new evidence people traveled thousands of kilometers to come here. It looks like this has always been a meeting ground, a place for people to get together. It was nobody's territory. The artifacts were all uncovered during the construction of that building, the new Canadian Museum for Human Rights, which opens next year. It's already seen its fair share of controversy, including the decision to build precisely on that site. There was concern it was an ancient burial ground. Archaeologists who worked around the museum's construction found no remains, nor did they find clear answers why people traveled so far to come to the spot. But the artifacts support oral history passed down by elders who say tribes held peace meetings here centuries ago. I think they got enough now, you know, to show that, to show that we were one of the first peoples on this, you know. But criticisms remain. The dig didn't go far enough. It's just an incredible site and we've lost information. The problem with archaeology is it's a non-renewable resource. So if it's been destroyed by any part of the construction of the building, it's gone forever. And I think as we've been able to find some 400,000 artifacts, again working with the elder community, making sure that they are treated, protected and respected, I think it gives us an opportunity for further education about what was on this site. While there are some new answers here, Croker says the record is far from complete. It's like you're reading a, hist uh, a bo history book, but you only get your options of reading one paragraph on every 15th page. No further digs are planned, but the building has been designed to allow for future digs beneath it. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.